Welcome to the project demonstration of smart street light monitoring and controlling system. So in this project we have the features like LDR sensor to detect the day and night mode, rain sensor to detect the rain and also each every street light consists of one light sensor to check the working of this particular street light when the system switch on this light. And also we are going to continuously check the status through the blink application. So on this blink application we have the features like rain data sensing as well as street lights if it is fault then you will get the fault alerts notification alerts about the particular street lights which is faulty and that fault is detected by this each LDR uh, each street light consists of an LDR sensor so here the like whenever the darkness is detected from this LDR sensor we are going to on the street lights with 50 percent intensity and whenever the vehicle is detected by using this IR sensor we are going to detect the presence of the vehicle then we are going to increasing the brightness 50% to 100% and in this duration also in this uh, like incrementing the lights so if the particular light is not getting on so we are intimating that to the blink application as an alert message and also if is any rain detects then the same will get the message alerts so may, the main purpose of this rain sensor is so when the authorities came to know about the rain uh, presence in particular area then they will taking care of the traffic controlling so in order to avoid the problem for the citizens and the next this is a LDR sensor interface to the A0 pin and remaining three LDRs interfaced at A1, A2, A3 pins and rain sensor at A4 pin and IR sensor we have interface at the 9th or 10th pin and uh, these three uh, transistor boards are used to control the signal level, uh, LED brightness levels. So as we are using here BC547 transistor as a switch to control the intensity of the lights and these are interfaced at the H1011 for 9, 10, 11 pins and uh, eighth pin is for IR sensor and rain sensor, uh, yeah, I said A4 sensor and uh, next here we are uh, interfacing the all the boards like uh, all these power connections through this breadboard so in order to distribute the power supply 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules and the ESP8266 module to send the Wi-Fi data to the blink application so here using uh, main Arduino Uno board to control the inputs and based on that inputs we are going to control in the output modules so these are the boards 1, 2, 3, 4 boards are the LDR boards so this board consists of onboard LDR and remaining three boards are getting input from the particular LDR sensor which was attached to the street lights at this section. So before switching on the gauge, we need to enable the hotspot. This is very important. Enable the hotspot with name of project 5010 without any space, without any capital letter and the password should be 129. So after enabling the hotspot and the data. Right. Log into the Blink application. So if you are using iPhone, then change the iPhone name to the project 5010 and the password should be 129. And uh, then log into the Blink application. There we can see Arduino Uno symbols. Uh, device is offline, online status will be displayed on that application. Right. So now you can switch on the kit. So once the device is getting online, so you can get the notification here in the Blink application the device is online and also you can see the one device is connected here, right, ESP device is connected, right, so in order to keep the day mode, so I am covering this LDR sensor, so it is 50% intensity and whenever the vehicle enters, so there is a light here, it should be on, so if I will demonstrate in this project, we should take care of the external sunlight should not fall on this IR sensor as it consists of the external sunlight consists of IR rays so it may reflect the IR module sorry so when the vehicle comes the brightness will increases okay and the vehicle passes away automatically back to the normal right and if you want to make any fault so then I'm going to unplug this L1 so there is no signal to the L1 sensor so you can get the notification here the you should enable the notification alerts so the light one is faulty and I'm reconnecting back and right so light 2 is fault
Same, light 3. And coming to the rain sensor. So whenever the rain falls, then this particular rain sensor will get the wedge and you will get the same data here and notification alerts will be given to the phone. So now let us see. So whenever the rain detects, so you will get the like this alerts. Alert rain detects. Okay. Okay. Right, till you rain completes, it is keep on sending the alert messages. So these alert notifications will be sent to the phone without any like app opening. Just you can close the app also in the background. The system is keep on running and you will get the message alerts. So let us see the same. Line fault. Right. Alerts faulted light 1. Right. Okay.